Now, should it be as close as it is? I mean, here you have a, a prosecutor against a convicted felon. You have uh, someone who incited an insurrection on January 6th, uh, falsely said that uh, he'd won the election uh, in uh, 2020. Uh, what is it that uh, accounts for uh, uh, Trump's success? There are, there are really two things going on. First, people don't want Trump to return to the White House. They do, however, prefer his policies to those of Joe Biden and, by extension, Kamala Harris. Increasingly, they are more comfortable with Kamala Harris as the next president, but they have real doubts about her qualifications and the record of the administration she served in as vice president. Uh, now, uh, uh, Harris has a huge lead among young voters, age 19 to, to 29, who some of whom didn't vote or were ineligible to vote in the last election and um, weren't eligible to vote uh, clearly in 2016. Uh, now, uh, what accounts uh, for this? And are they going to come out and vote? The second question is a very tough one to answer. Will they come out and vote? The first question uh, is equally challenging, though I think there are answers. I think that Harris appeals more to younger people than Biden or certainly Trump. I think the fact that she is a person of color benefits her, her level of energy. But also hurts her. Well, it, it, it might, but I guess to me, um, her whole appeal has been one of somebody who, as she puts it, is a self-made member of the middle class. And I think that uh, it is a uplifting story that on a personal level, only enhances her credibility. Uh, do you think that, uh, I mean, largely uh, one has the feeling she's been playing defense and really hasn't gone on the attack the way she did in the debate uh, with Trump, uh, which uh, I think the voters were delighted with. Uh, I mean, lots of uh, Trumpy people I know uh, uh, agree that uh, she won the debate hands down. Do you think that's been a mistake for her and that she could move the needle that she now became more aggressive and took off the gloves? I think her strategy and that of her advisors is, look, they believe she's narrowly ahead. They believe that she has better than a 50 percent chance of winning enough electoral votes with the swing states to be elected. They have real doubts about her ability to engage with Trump or engage with the media. And I think their feeling is their campaign is mostly working to position her or reposition her as a centrist. And their attitude is, let's keep going the way we are, gives us a good chance to win. You think that's a mistake? I, I, I think it is a rational adaptation. I think the one who's made a mistake is Trump by not running on the issues of the economy, the southern border, the direction of the country, and crime, issues that work to his advantage. 